Um, let's predict an output of this code. Uh, this is the continuation from the yesterday's class. So this is the, what the previous code, what I discussed yesterday. Yes, sir. So what kind of error you will get it here? So where will it will we go? It will go to null. Planning anything for this reference belongs to the IO exception. If you are through this one, where it will go? Null point exception. Null pointer exception it will go. So here now, so now here I created an object for the IO exception. So static reference I have created here. So I'm throwing the reference I belongs to the IO exception. So we have a two catch blow up. One is IO exception, another one is the null pointer exception. So in last code I did not assign anything to it, this reference. So this code I created the object IO exception. Now I am throwing the reference with the help of the throw keyword. So we have a two catch block. One is IO exception, another one is the null pointer exception. So where it will go? Same same null pointer. Pointer. See, just observe this code. So created an object. I'm throwing the reference with the help of the throw keyword. So in this case, see, well, IO. it will go for the IO exception. See what will happen here if I remove this completely, if I end with semicolon, see here I created the reference belongs to the IO exception. So if you are throwing the null reference here, if you are not assigning, definitely it will go for the null pointer exception. But if you create a an object so when you are trying to run this program so it will reach us the IO exception this is what the difference yes sir got it if you are not created an object for this then you are throwing the reference I belongs to an IO exception with the help of throw keyword so definitely null pointer exceptions okay this catch block will be executed but yes. Created the object for the class IO exception. Okay, and then if you are throwing the reference I with the help of the throw keyword, then it will reach us the first catch block IO exception. Yes, sir. I will go for the next example. So now. They have given throw keyword. Hmm. Throw is also there. Throws is also there. Throws keyword associated with the method. This observer is here. So where is the error? See, unreachable statement. See, we are throwing the exception here. Correct? It never reaches the statement. Unreachable statement. Suppose if I ignore this. So now what will happen here? Throw new corona, right? The constructor will be executed with the message. See this observer? Correct. So when you are creating the object for the class, so constructor of the class will be executed. This message will be stored in the N. So that will be displayed on the screen. Stay home and stay safe. Then followed by we are throwing an exception. Correct. So yes. what kind of exception is here? See, this is the user defined one. Correct. Then if you provide any statement after followed by throw in this case so it will show the compile time error as unreachable statement 
R else if you do one here also if you apply try if you don't want to use this rows then you can remove you can place it use the catch block this way just observe cache block is executing and next statement is also executing yes sir understood this code throw new followed by this one okay so here what will happen here first when you are creating an object for the class constructor of the class will be executed and it is printing the message and yes, you are throwing the exception what kind of exception user defined exception so this cache block will be executed then followed by the statement will be executed here sir but there is no error in try block to it will not come to catch block no sir definitely you are throwing user defined exception huh? throw new followed by this one user defined one yes sir this is user defined exception so if you are not providing any cache block here so what i did here so if we ignore everything see so for this it is showing add throws i'm just adding here so definitely this second statement will get an as unreachable statement this yes, statement sir. never be executed so we'll get the error like unreachable statement so rs you have to ignore this rls better if you don't want to go for this try throws better to provide the try catch you better to provide yes. the try catch here yes sir over the next code Now here, class followed by Sukshma one three public study quite main try here. I'm passing throw new followed by Sukshma one three on the class name, and I have a catch block belongs to the see Sukshma one three, whether it works or not. Yes, sir. Java. See here, two Compile. errors. Yes, sir. Two errors you are getting. See what should I do here first? Throws we have not done. Throws we should play. Throws followed by what? Sukshmas. Is it? But we have used try and class. Hmm. <laughs> Then, see for this, sir. This I'm sir. I have created the class. So class one three that is action followed by the parent exception. Correct. Yes, so here sir. I have a constructor. So again you will get error like duplicate class. Yes, sir. How to overcome this difficulty? Shall I change this class name? Yes. This works. Okay, I will give it as some twenty-five. Okay. Then find now. Now it is. It's coming. Yes, sir. 
constructor will be executed and also you're throwing exception this cache block will be executed so else you can write cache block java followed by the cache block understood now yes sir now in this code there is no throw keyword used so it will show error in system dot out dot print ten divided by zero. See here, incompatible types. Sushma so one four cannot be converted into the throw. So now in this case, if I add any parent exception, see. user defined class that is section from the exception so now first line definitely it will be executed second line a number divided by zero so this will be automatic exception arises this will be handled by the default exception handler default exception handler it will call print stack trace method internally so that is the reason you will get the description correct exception name description and followed by the we click on that location also we will get it so this line never be executed so if we provide try catch definitely this line will be executed so in this case so if you are ignore this one any this class this is user defined right you are throwing throw followed by sukshmars 14 okay so in this case this any user defined class that is extends from the exception So if you write a code like this, this compile time error will be gone. If you ignore to write this one, or else you no need to add this throws keyword here, leave it, then it works as it is fine. See. But if you add a throws here, definitely error will be incompatible types cannot be converted into throwable. So that is the reason extends followed by. Exception or else uh, you can write extend followed by throwable if you want to add. This is also fine. Understood. Very easy here. This code. These kind of questions I have already discussed. Yes, sir. No. Two errors. You are getting unreported exception. Okay, must be caught or declared as a throw. Then another one is unreachable statement. For this, I can explicitly add throws here. Throws followed by exception. Post error gone. And again, you are getting the error. Unreachable statement. Yes, sir. To so overcome this difficulty, what should I do now? Shall I provide try catch? Now this one is not required.
was fine. Exception throw handled by the catch flow, the next line will be executed. This is the, this is the code. Understood now? Completely? Yes, sir. Any doubts here? No, sir. So next question. Where exactly the error? Whether this code work fine, or else any compile time error, or else any runtime errors? Again, the throws of Tufna 16 is not there. Okay. Where is the error here? Unreachable statement. Correct? Yes, we are already throwing. Correct? Throw new followed by stack overflow error. Yes, sir. Okay. This is unchecked exception, right? So what should I do now if I want to execute? Shall I put it in try catch? Yes, sir. See, uh, throwing stack overflow error handled by the catch flow. Again, a number divided by zero arithmetic exception arises that is handled by the catch flow. But if you are not provided any try catch here, use like this. So definitely unreachable statement. We have to yes. provide at least. Yes, sir. Or else, if you use any throws here, throws followed by stack overflow error. See, again, for this also, unreachable. Or else, any exception you can place. See? So, better to provide try catch. Yes, sir. So here, it's okay. what type of exception will be arises in this code? What kind of exception? There's no main. What kind of exception arises here? Sir, compiler will not know from where to start because there are three means. Hmm? So where? What type of an exception arises in this code? Hmm? 
this code I have already discussed with you. Right. So this is the code, right? So execution of the program begin from the main. Here I'm calling the main, so it will reach us here. Then again I'm calling the main. I'm passing the string argument. Definitely it will reach us here. Again you are calling the main. Again it reaches here. Again you are calling the main with the string argument. Again it reaches here. So what kind of error? There is no compile time error here. So definitely one exception arises during the runtime of the program. What kind of exception arises during the runtime of the program? The program will not end only no. See what kind of exception stack overflow yes you're calling recursive method correct yes stack sir. overflow error understood yes, yes. Sir. again predict here what exactly the difference between the first one as well as the second one First one created the object for an object class, and again we are doing typecasting, assign it to the string. Again, here we have a string object with the value Karthik. Then again, we are doing typecasting S1 to the okay O1. What is the difference between the first one as well as the second one? See, first I will go for the uh, the first one here. If I comment, see what kind of exception arises? Class cast exception. Okay, so what is here? See, object is a parent class, right? See, what is this one? Reference belongs to the parent. Then what you are doing? You are reference to the type cast to the child. So parent object to the child type you are doing, correct? This is parent object. Okay, you are typecasted to the child type. Child is nothing but string. This is the parent. Parent object to the child type. Then definitely this class cast exception will be raises. This class cast exception is a child class of runtime exception. This is completely unchecked exception. See so got it? Why you are getting the class cast exception? Now you are converting parent object to the child type. This is parent object to the child type. This is a conclusion parent object to the child type. For this, you are getting the class cast exception. This is parent, you are converting into the child type. It is not possible. Then, if you consider the second example now, this is child, right? Yes, sir. Then see, just observe, no error. But if you do vice versa, in a reverse error. order, definitely a class cast exception. Yes, sir. Class cast exception, it's a child class of runtime exception. It's a completely unchecked exception. Yes, sir. So now here, this is static variable, static in K1. Here are Zani 10 divided by 0. And I'm trying to print here. Arithmetic exception. See here. What will happen here? You just observe what kind of exception arises exception initialize error caused by arithmetic exception so this exception initializer error it's a child class of error it's a child class of error class this is also belongs to the unchecked exception so if you use a static variable here static variable here assigned with a 10 divided by 0 first what kind of runtime error encounter exception initializer error caused by your Arithmetic exception. Suppose uh, I will change it. If I take this variable now, I will place it here. 
then I will ignore this. So now, just an arithmetic exception. Are you getting the point? Just you will get the arithmetic exception. Yes, sir. Now, if you place here, definitely compile time error will be generated. Then I will place a static. Then I will place a static here. Then, if you are trying to run this code first, exception initializer error, then caused by the arithmetic exception. This exception initializer error is a child class of error class. This is belongs to the unchecked exception. Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. So now here, this is static block at the time of class loading. This block will be executed first. Then we have a static method here. Execution of the program begin from the main. So we are calling the static method directly. Errors. Yes, observe here. Stack overflow. So, stack overflow. First, which exception you are getting? First, I will wait. I will come and just um, one point or so First, it will give the first preference for the static block, right? Now, in this case, the exception initializer error will be generated caused by the null pointer exception. If you use a static block now i will command this static block, <coughs> then i will use static method implementation then i will call the same code but with a static method implementation this one is a static block implementation this is static method implementation if i call this method now it will reach us here then if you are trying to run see null pointer exception arises in this case so here if you comment but if you use this one first it will throw exception initializer error caused by the null pointer exception are you getting the point exception in initializer error Understood? Yes, sir. So here. Where is the error? Now, why we require this integer dot parsing converting string to integer? Correct. So, first we ignore this. We are trying to run, so definitely three will be displayed on the screen. Correct converting string type to integer if you use like this no exception will be erases but if you consider this one yes. 
So here, what As will happen now? Kiran is of can string. In this right? case, you will get the runtime error number format exception. In this case, this is what the difference between the first and the second. Here we passing strings, hence so error will arise. Mm, definitely, if I pass one two now here, in this case also error. But there if you completely error. ignore the Kiran. Hmm. Then now, it will this will be easily convert the string right. type to integer. But if yes, you place sir. a character, even a single character, if you place here, see, number format exception arises. This is what the difference yes. between the first one as well as the second one. Are you getting the point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 